Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather news update Sunday, May 9th, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Multiple events rocketing off of our sun today, and we're going to bring you up to speed. We'll come over to the GOES X-ray Flux 1-Minute Data, where you can see, starting at 1400 UTC, a long-duration sea flare. Now, Prior to that, a filament located near center disk erupted beginning at 10 o'clock UTC uh, today as well. Here is a look at the event, and we'll walk you through it. The filament in question is up here, and it's going to destabilize and move south and away. But you can see a lot of it comes back down just a little bit that cloud is being released so i don't think that this filament eruption is what's showing up on iswa here is the filament in question it's going to start to move south there and then snap a little bit of debris comes towards us but that is the filament eruption today and we'll leave you links to all of this the filament located near center disk erupting beginning at 10 o'clock UTC, May 9th. We just showed you a look at the event on SDO A1A304. Imagery was courtesy of Stereo Ahead and shows a coronal mass ejection leaving the sun that could possibly have an Earth-directed component. Uh, I don't believe that's what's coming. This will only be confirmed once an Earth-facing coronagraph is available. It should also be noted that a long-duration C-class eruption was observed around AR2822 and may also be associated with the CME. So we're going to go check telemetry with you, and here we are at 1,400. Boom! Yes, right at 1,400, that long duration. C-flare is what's in question. Well, let's watch it get up to 1,400. So the filament destabilizes now. Nothing happens. And then at 1400, boom, there it is. And we'll come over to check on Lasco C3 here. Check the timestamp, 1400, boom, there it is. So it was the long duration C flare that caused the coronal mass ejection, not the filament eruption, but combine them both, and it's anyone's guess. Now take a look at what IS was showing here coming off of here. Two events, boom, boom, right like that. And it's the first event that just happened, boom, right there, that is actually going to clip us. Come take a look at the telemetry here, right there. Real quick, and it looks like that hit will occur on the 12th. So incoming space weather alert for the 12th. Low-level geomagnetic storm from a long-duration sea flare is possible. We also have a filament destabilization here on the south, all at the same time. And we're gonna show you the coronal mass ejection associated with that long duration sea flare there, boom. And that will be the cover photo for the video. Wait for it. Boom, right there. And here we are at Lasco C3. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1400 UTC, and there's the boom. Pretty amazing stuff happening on the sun. Now, this is just the beginning of the uptick as we get into solar cycle 25. Sunspots are still low. The cycle is now equivalent of cycle 24. There's really no difference, but we do see some rapid acceleration in activity coming from our sun. And it looks like the earth-facing quiet is ending as we make the video. Hope you got something out of the video. We have a filament destabilization on the south happening at 10 o'clock UTC, followed just two hours later. Here is the destabilization about to occur. Keep your eye on the filament. It's going to move south and then break away. There's the southern movement. There's the snapping. And we also have a long-duration sea flare with a coronal mass ejection, boom, happening just four hours later. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. When you're informed and you know what's heading our way, May 12th, well, you'll be ready.
We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, and those people that share these videos. Be safe. We'll see you later on Oppenheimer Ranch tonight.